What's up guys? So I'm just gonna show you something here. Um, obviously there's a probably a bazillion videos on how to install bearings into things. And uh, a lot of guys use press, a lot of guys, you know, throw these in the freezer, heat up the part, and then they'll drop right in, which is what I've been doing here. But one thing I want to add is uh, um, you could add some anti-seize. Probably better to add it onto the outside of this because this is cold, that's hot. I went ahead and put it on here though. It'll probably melt and drip but whatever. But the one thing I've been seeing a lot of guys do is tap these in and that's perfectly fine but they've been using like a socket or whatever. But the one thing I haven't seen anybody do is my dad taught me was you keep your old bearings and then you put them together and obviously your new one goes in and it's the same exact size so that way you could tap around this old bearing without ruining you know your race there or your bearing and uh, it just messes this one up and then you're not you know trying to find a socket or something like that to tap that new one in so just a little trick right there I thought I'd share with you guys. So you can see I got this side in. I don't have this sill in all the way. It's just sitting there at the moment. But uh, bearings in all the way. Rotates freely. Um, another note about putting these in with the other old bearing. Like I said, you, you anti seize that, you get it all cleaned up nice on the carrier. Cool these down, you heat this up. And when you tap these in, so this is only, you know, looks about a half inch wide, but that's about almost an inch deep. So you almost could fit both of these in there. So you want to be very careful setting this in because if you tap that old one in, with this new one too far, you won't be able to get the old one out without having to hit it back out and drive it back out and you risk ruining the new one. So what I'm getting at is just put this in. Basically all this is being used for is a nice guide to get it in just far enough where you could still get the old one out and then go ahead and use a chisel and go around the edge gently and tap it rest of the way in. So just like that, see how I got still most of it out. And then you could usually just grab onto it with this. Or you could take a chisel. Let's see if I can show you here. And you just give it a nice little whack. Comes out. And then I could just finish going around this bottom edge here all the way around until it sits nice and flush where it should and then I can put the sill in and that's it that's how I got it in there see it turns nice you know it doesn't really mess anything up too bad as long as you stay on the outside of that metal there try not to hit your sill or anything and uh, yeah, hope that helps somebody to replace their rear carrier bearings.